We're in conversation with Arvind Sanger, managing partner, Geosphere Capital Management. Arvind, uh, of course, before we went into the break, we were talking about the kind of upside that you were, you were watching out for. Now, this time around as well, let's take a look at some of the big earnings coming in. What are the kind of cues you're picking up from there in terms of momentum building up? Uh, so far, of course, we've had big ones like RIL, or we've had some key banking names, and of course, IT. Uh, just your takeaways from that and, and what you're really expecting from the season this time. Well, I mean, I, I guess, you know, when I'm looking at IT, I'm not looking at the Indian economy. So I would put that aside because uh, our focus, frankly, is uh, on signs of uh, uh, Indian economic recovery. Uh, and again, RIL is a special situation. You know, it's a stock that we like, but that really is not a play on the Indian economy. So the banks are, are critical. You know, some of the other domestic sectors, whether it's uh, 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 autos or others, uh, you know, those would be also uh, the things that we would watch for uh, uh, signs of how domestic economy is doing. And I would say that, you know, the banking results from uh, uh, HDFC Bank uh, is uh, probably, you know, unique uh, in its uh, own way. But uh, the ICICI Access Bank results, you know, it was, uh, it was uh, reasonable growth. I think there were no big surprises, but the one good news was there weren't any big negative surprises in terms of asset quality. And I think that's the one thing that we'll be watching in the PSU banks to see where we are on the you know, uh, NPA cycle. And, and that's, uh, you know, obviously it's not a leading indicator, but at the same time, uh, we don't want to see signs of stress significantly getting worse. I think, uh, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's uh, obviously an important sector for giving a sense of, uh, you know, their temperature and how they see the economic outlook developing more so than to be specific uh, about what the March quarter did, but also the expectations uh, of uh, whether, you know, loan demand is showing any signs of recovery uh, as well. As, and so the loan growth outlook as well as, you know, the asset quality. So that's an important sector. And then other sectors, you know, the domestic demand side, uh, uh, some of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, you mentioned HUL is reporting, but uh, any of the consumer companies and they're facing, we don't expect any big positive surprises there. But again, indications of how much, uh, if any, signs of consumer coming, you know, uh, crawling out of the, uh, the hole that they've been in in terms of a slowdown. Uh, and and, and uh, those are some of the areas where we would be looking for. But frankly, uh, I must be honest, we're not looking for big cues from this quarter. When we're investing at the market at these levels, it's not because this quarter is going to give us a huge amount of confidence that the recovery is well underway, but this uh, quarter will give us confidence that things, uh, you know, have at least bottomed out and are not getting worse. And then the pace of the recovery will be de dependent on, uh, you know, kind of what comes out of the new government. Arvind, I'm actually going to pick my next question from three important words that you actually pulled up there. One of them being economy, the other one being cyclical, and the third one being bottomed out. And, and the three, and the one sector that's actually using these three words right now has been the engineering pack. We've been talking about the fact that it could be the capex downturn that could have actually bottomed out. We've been talking about seeing some kind of revival in the economy. And stocks like LNT, BHL, even in the broader markets, Arvind, they've all seen a massive run up. What, what, what's your thought when we talk about uh, this entire sector? Well, I mean, I think clearly <laughs> we're not early in terms of market expectations being built up. So I think one of the challenges we have, you know, we can talk about the index all we want, but when we look at individual stocks in some of these areas that we like, uh, you know, some of the good news is certainly priced in. So you've got to make a bet that the recovery is going to happen and it's going to happen in some reasonable time period for this to continue. Uh, and uh, yes, we have seen some signs uh, that we've bottomed and, and, and things are getting better. Uh, I think the challenge for us as investors is finding uh, stocks where, uh, you know, the expectations are are not too far ahead of reality. Uh, and frankly, uh, you know, for people like us who do long short, uh, maybe even uh, being uh, brave enough to stick our neck out and, 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 and put some shorts on, on stocks where the fundamentals have, uh, have don't have as much hope uh, as have been built into in the market. But, you know, that's always dangerous. Uh, in a market like this, which is right now riding the hope, hope wave. And I think the real challenge is going to be uh, uh, the follow through. And, and, I, and I would mention one of the risk factor that I've not talked about, which I think is important to keep in mind, is inflation is not completely dead in India. It never is, unfortunately. And if, uh, if uh, you know, economy starts to recover, one of the key things that we will be watching is, you know, obviously there's a monsoon uh, effect that we have to worry about. 
but also a demand effect. I mean, uh, uh, part of the reason that inflation came off is because yeah. demand, uh, the economy slowed down and demand came off. Okay. And, and so that's one other factor that is going to be one of the risk factors that's going to be somewhat discomforting and, and, and worth sure. watching. Keeping all these factors in mind, Arvind, would you also be looking at broader markets right now or would you stick to uh, the heavyweights, play it a little safer? Well, no, I think there are, there are uh, uh, frankly, we've been looking uh, to find value. Maybe we've been looking at uh, some of the mid caps because the reality is that most of the money that has come into the market, <coughs> excuse me, over the last one year, or certainly the last six months, uh, has been FI money and that's gone after the index heavyweights. Uh, and the domestic investors have been slower to jump in, although obviously that started to happen uh, uh, in the last month or two, but I still think there's uh, some interesting values, uh, more interesting uh, in the mid caps than in the large caps. So, you know, we'll, we will continue to be selective, but I think we're finding some better value in some of these sectors uh, uh, in the mid caps. So certainly we wouldn't shy away from that, but, uh, you know, all of these are based on a backdrop of uh, 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 an expectation of, uh, of a reasonably positive uh, election outcome and then a reasonably aggressive move by the new government. Uh, to address uh, some of the growth impediments.